Well, two words that come immediately to my mind. One would be accessibility, accessibility to information, and the other one would be reliability. Uh, uh, re reliability of getting information from a non-biased source uh, and uh, generally a research-based source of information. Very good. Well, it's another vehicle. E-Extension is another vehicle of getting uh, information out and getting information in. Uh, there's uh, you know, such a need, f especially for those techno learners that, uh, you know, that like to use the internet, uh, that uh, like to Google for information to, you know, to get information. It's an uh, enhancement of information for the traditional modes of training to give people a, uh, another, uh, another opportunity to you know, uh, review information, get new information um, in, in one spot, whether it be simple answers to questions, whether it be more comprehensive information like you know articles and fact sheets and then if uh, it's a, a, a great opportunity to you know guide people if I don't know the answer if uh, uh, you know there are some uh, questions that haven't been answered you know to ask the expert ask someone out there you know to you know a question that uh, may be very unique or just has not been you know dealt with before. Well, with my role with e-extension, I think the greatest thing has been, uh, you know, the you know, additional work with other states, uh, just getting to know uh, how the other states function and how uh, they would respond to seemingly the same questions with home energy. You know, home energy in cold climate is not uh, the same as uh, home energy in a hot, arid, hot, humid type of a climate. And so, you know, the collaboration between, uh, you know, uh, other, uh, other universities, other land grants, uh, specifically with the extension but you know home energy deals with uh, so many different areas that uh, whether you're uh, an educator whether you're in property management or whether you're in industry whether you're in uh, you know a uh, utility type of a partner whether you are you know dealing with a federal agency that deals with uh, you know energy weatherization healthy housing uh, there's uh, many, many connections, and uh, I think uh, e-extension helps connect the dots. Well, e-extension is, uh, you know, it can evolve into, uh, you know, a lot of different directions, and uh, today, you know, we may have, with frequently asked questions, uh, you know, a couple of hundred questions, but, uh, you know, every day someone has another question, they can add to that, so it's a growth, it's an evolution. Same thing with uh, people who always have, uh, you know, uh, questions, and so I think as, uh, you know, uh, 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 everyone has different ways that they like to get information and there's a lot of different learning styles out there that uh, uh, some folks are very content you know, uh, and do not need to read the book. They don't need to go to the workshop. Uh, they can get a lot of information you know, from a uh, source like uh, eExtension. To others, uh, sometimes it's going to be you know, an opera, uh, you know, an opportunity to validate some information. Go to another source that uh, uh, perhaps just to confirm, validate some in, uh, some information. So um, uh, it's it's not going to go away. It's uh, just going to be, I think, an opportunity to enhance and refine you know information to help direct them uh, you know in a in a different way. Not the probably the you know the sole source of information, but certainly a you know. A, a part of the, you know, the learning mix.